Apple Keys. The tune for tonight is Maka Ed Britta. Uh, yeah, tonight because it's 10 p.m. now, but it's summer in Scandinavia, so the sky is clear. <laughs> It means now you are married, Britta, Britta, and it's a tune from Boda. It was written by Röjos Jonas, so his name in a more usual way would be Jonas Röjos, but uh, we tend to call him Röjos Jonas, and the Röjos family is a very prominent one for folk music from Boda. So Boda in Dalarna is one of the very specific styles of Polska. It is really like a tiny village that has a very yeah, specific different type of music. Of course you can find similarities with neighboring regions, but Buddha style is really characteristic. It is slightly slower than most other Polskas, although there are quite some debates going on about how fast or how slow it should be actually. Many people who are more on the trad side say that now it's too slow, it's played too slow, it should be played faster, and then some other people prefer to play it slower because they find it nicer. You know, a little bit of debate, but it tends to be in general a bit slower than other polskas. It has short first beat, so when you have your three beats you have the second beat that is a little bit closer to the one. One, two, three, and one, two, three. You can think more early second beat, it's actually a bit more accurate, and it has a very floating feeling on the second beat. Some of the short first beat, for example Spring Lake, that I taught already a few tunes off on this channel, are more like one, two, three, one, two, three, like very dynamic too, but Boda does not have that, it has a very floating second beat. One, two, three. My first tip for playing this tune and any kind of Boda Polska actually is to feel it in your body. So stand, do not sit, and try to do one, two, three, one, two, three, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's actually what your bow is going to do. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And Buddha is one of those styles where you have a very strict bowing pattern, not strict in the way that you have to do like this, but more that the tunes are really constructed on this bowing, and that is really the way to achieve the feeling we are after with these dance. It's very much fiddle music, so it's really in that bowing, it makes sense in a way that there is a very strong bowing pattern if you want. So let's get down to the tune, two parts. D major, not a difficult tune, but what makes it interesting is, well, of course, the rhythm, that is a little bit special, and also all the ornaments that you can do. Because as it's a little bit slow, you have quite some time to put in lots of ornaments, especially double stops, so we're gonna see them in detail. A part. slow it down more than that because I think it's not so fast but let's check the double stops mostly we're gonna have the open string down from the melody string so we start with the D keep the D E release A B Also do already on the C sharp A B A D A E D. So it's really only the first. 
first finger that does stuff. The only difficult thing is to know when to put it. Uh, but it's not that difficult. Uh, other ornaments, Boda is a very rich style of uh, ornamentation, drills and mordants and all that, so you can go a little bit crazy on that. Uh, it depends a bit how you want to sound. If you want to sound very romantic and meditative and a bit slow and so on, you can ditch a lot of ornaments actually, and even the double stops, you can just play... beautiful on its own, uh, but if you want to be a bit more traditional style, uh, like the people would play maybe a bit older people or people who have not gone any classical education, but play just folk music, you would possibly go something more like... Lots of more dance and little drills. Um, and also maybe the rhythm is going to be a little bit more in your face and slightly faster. So, yeah, uh, all these kind of drills. All this kind of what I call the Swedish drill when you land on the note you drilled with. B part. this very clear rhythm yam pa te yam pa ta except in the end din, di, da, di, da, di, da, where we kind of break it to you know just go jumping a little bit around because yeah it's the end of the tune and we had a fun time or something i don't know i imagine someone very happy when playing this tune it's a very happy tune somehow um so double stops for this a b a E Keep the E If you want, I prefer to keep the, the, the E there Same thing A B A And then you keep A and A and A and E part entirely with double stuffs and and there's a car Lucky, it's not a tractor. Sometimes I have tractors when I try to record. Yay for living in countryside. Okay, as it is a quite slow tune, I'm not gonna play it slower than actual tempo. It would be very hard to understand the rhythm as well. Um, but let's play it once the entire tune with the repetitions, so two A's, two B's, um, just without the double stop so you can hear the melody a little bit better if you need that. Let's go one, two, three, and one, two, a specialist of Wuda Polska. It's a repertoire I've learned about, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I don't know many tunes of it. Um, but I think it's a very nice repertoire and many people in Sweden actually love it very much, especially dancers. So it's good to have, you know, at least 
a few tunes of Buddha. And it's not that difficult. Once you got the hang of it, it's really, it's the relaxed short first beat polska somehow. I would really advise you to think about maybe the waves of the sea crashing, you know. Something like that. Or maybe floating a little bit. Something that floats. I, I don't know exactly. Mm. Maybe autumn leaves are actually better than the very summery background as I chose. I don't know. Something that floats, really. Um, I personally really feel it in my body, so I really advise you to try to find it in your body. And it doesn't only go up and down, but also kind of to the side. I'm exaggerating quite a bit, uh, but you get the idea. So practice that and try to find the good amount of it, depending on your taste and how traditional or personal you want to play it. That's it for this video. I thought about this tune because I am working on some uh, music for a wedding. And as the title of this tune is Now You Are Married Britta, well, you know, I just thought about it. If you have watched until the end, well, please don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon, you know, all the usual YouTube stuff. But you can also comment in the... That was interesting sound. You can comment uh, down below if you have questions or anything. I really like to read your comments and to answer your questions. But if you don't know what to write, you can just write congratulations to the happy couple because it's a wedding tune and I'm working on wedding music. <laughs> and then I will know that you have watched this video until the end. Take care, play well. I'll see you next time. Hey, Dor. <laughs>